All right, guys, what's going on? This is Cross. We are back. Uh, I usually don't um, start a game mid-commentary or whatever, but apparently my PVR didn't record when I asked it to record the first time. So we're going to have to delay it a bit. Uh, I fucking hate that gun. USASS is probably my least favorite shotgun in this entire game, of all things. Absolutely despise that fucking gun with a burning passion. That and the MP7... Uh, the PP-09, uh, it's PP-90, I don't know what it is. All those guns that are just hip fire, spray, other death and destruction. Those are the ones I don't enjoy. But, I will say, I should say, uh, I don't enjoy being on the receiving end. I like being the guy who is giving it to the other team. That's, that's by all means, it's fine. Uh, I like killing people, but, um, when I get shot by one of them, yeah, I get a little stressed out. Um, a lot of you probably know. You can probably tell. The commentaries are great. What are you trying to do? Trick shot? Yeah, get the fuck down from here. If I can climb up there, I'll kick your ass. I don't know. We'll try. Oh, that's a fail. Oh, I need to upload the other Matrix video. No! Oh, yeah, you'll probably see this video, like, late. But I ended up getting a, a really funny uh, Matrix-looking kill cam... I, like, turn the corner, I scope in on a guy, and he's standing up out of last chance or second chance, something like that. <laughs> I think I made someone rage quit. I'm not sure what happened. If that was the guy who I just killed, that'll be funny. Who left? Someone from the other team left, so I'm gonna imagine it was him. How's that shotgun doing from down there on that distance? That must suck. This is actually a really good spot to defend stuff, but, uh, I don't know. Now nah, I'm gonna get killed. 16 and 2. That was a good start. Uh, my team seems like they're doing pretty well. I'm gonna turn around here. try to cap this HQ. Actually, I'm gonna go defend it. Um, a lot of people think, like, you know, just because you're not on the drop zone, you're not helping. Um, you, need to, you need to understand the concept of that. You need to know when to push, uh, push spawn in terms of, like, just defending where they're coming from and kind of keep them off of it. This guy right here is fucking utterly clueless. Um, and then the other side is if you keep killing them before they get to the drop zone, you know, they're not going to be able to get points, but you want to give a buffer between your team and the drop zone, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm head glitching up here, making it to where my team can stay on the drop zone, they can capture it, um, and they don't have to worry about getting killed off of it right away. I delay the entire team from getting there, and I can pick off a few people, so if they do kill me, they get there late. It's not uh, a full team that makes it to the drop zone, maybe like two or three people at a time, or one or two. Yeah. It just makes it easier for everyone else. This is gonna be bad. Nope, 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 nope. 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 I'm gonna get killed by that because I fucking flinched. Oh, I hate second chance. Should be spawning in that back corner then. teammate shooting at me freaking me out pistol right away um you sir need to uh calm down i i guess i can't really get mad at it you know he's playing the game he's just trying to get kills and uh eh, prone and shit i'm gonna do the whole pistol thing too um uh, the only thing i really really gripe about and i'm actually bitter over is c4 it's completely dominant in this game in terms of how far you can throw it, how big the explosion is, um, how cheap it is. Uh, you know, you just lob C4, double X, and it blows up instantly. Um, you can take out a whole fucking team if you really want to. And people do this all the time. Every time they die, they just throw C4 again. They die and they kill themselves doing it. Um, and that that's kind of takes a lot of the fun out of the game for me if I keep getting blown up a lot. 
I got blown up enough in Modern Warfare 2. I don't want to get blown up in Modern Warfare 3. That's that's not my main goal. That's something I don't want to do. Uh, I don't enjoy that one bit. Come here, kid. You and your ACR can sit down. ACR is a phenomenal weapon. I just don't like anyone that uses it. I actually, I don't like a lot of things. I think I don't like anyone that doesn't... Oh, shit. Split quad feed right there. Ah, that was close. I was thinking I was going to get a quad feed there, a solid one. It was solid, but it was split. Um, splits don't look nice. I think we could talk about montage clips. I don't really care if you get split feeds, guys. I get like 9-man, 10-man killstreaks. And a lot... What the fuck was that? And a lot of them are split. And I still use them. I try to get one solid quad feed, though. Because that that looks better uh but if i get split after that i'm gonna use it because it's a good streak you know you killed eight people you didn't miss you got all those kills it just got split toward the end but the first time um, you actually got a solid feed somewhere in there then i'll use it if i get nothing but like split like a split five man six man you know i'm probably not gonna use it unless it's absolutely amazing like a multi-kill if it's a multi-kill, you can guarantee I would use that if it's split every other kill. I don't care. Uh, Multi-kills are incredible, especially with an MSR and how fast you have to kill people to get them. Those are something I would use all the time. It's uh, I can't argue against that. Or anyone who puts split feeds in montages. If they're multi-kills, by all means, go for it. Use it. Like Knock me out. Like Please do. Um, it'd be great. I think standards are... Oh, please hit him. Nah... Standards are a little bit insane, but I, that's how they need to be. I, a lot of people always complain about the community is too, you know, there's too much and all this stuff. And to me, the community has never been better. Uh, it's bigger. So it means there's more opportunity to do stuff. And it's more challenging. And if you want to stand out, you're going to have to do something just outrageous now. You're going to need, you know, you need to get a quad headshot. You need to get this. You need to do all that stuff and then some. And if you're the player that can do that, you're gonna be like a golden fucking star. Like, you're gonna be shining on YouTube like nothing else. Um, you'll be the best of the best in, in terms of what you do. And I think that's really nice to have, um, that push, in order to try to outdo people. Um, you see people getting like quad feed on top of quad feed. And you're like, man, I wanna do that. I wanna be able to get, you know, a, like back to back to back quad feeds. And that would be amazing. Oh shit, I ran out of ammo. I almost would have had a quad feed there. Maybe a five man, because there were two guys that ran out. But you want to be that type of player. You want to push yourself. You don't want to just limit your ability to, oh, I, I can only get quad feeds because it's too hard to do anything else. If you're that type of player, you gave up already. Um, that's not the type of player I like. I like the type of player who will sit here and just basically push himself to hit a clip that is just unbelievable. Um, that's the type of player I want. I want someone who doesn't just give up and go, well, that quad feed's good enough. You know, that's not a good player to me. It, you know, you might be good, but you're not pushing the bar. You're not going past what you're capable of doing. And I think when you push past what you think you're capable of doing, you prove something to yourself, and you get a reward for it. A reward and a feeling that's so much better than what you get from just, you know, half-assing stuff. Uh, you, you try to... Uh, break the limits of what you think you're capable of and that's really what I enjoy about YouTube and how the community is now um, everyone's like you know trick shots are really really hard and all this stuff they think they're over complex and from a person who doesn't trick shot like me they are extremely complex they are very hard but I like seeing people that do new ones like something that go holy shit I never thought you could hit like a triple ladder assault or something you know um, with a care package you know you throw in stuff that's so weird and something that no one's ever seen, and you push the limit. That's what I want to see, and that's what I enjoy. Uh, final score, guys, 53-20. and 20. Um, I just recorded four games in a row, and I think right now I'm getting into it a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to go get a drink. Go, uh, you know, just be cool. Um, take a break, cool down. Um, if I play too much, I get burnt out. So I'm going to take a little break, probably go check out the tubes, uh, check out some Twitter, see what everyone's up to, and uh, that's a good way to keep in contact with me. If you want to tell me what you want to see in my episodes, what you want to see in terms of 
Road to Commander videos, what weapons you want, what map you want me to play, what game mode, hit me up on there. My links are always in the description. I love that you guys follow me. I just hit 25,000 followers on Twitter. Um, I'm recording this uh, 729, so I'll probably post this in the next few days. And that's when I hit 25K, and I'm really appreciative for that, guys. I never thought I would make it this far. Um, my YouTube channel pretty much just hit 70,000 too at the same time, and that's incredible. I remember when I got 500 subs and I was just tripping balls, like I was freaking out. Um, this is amazing, and I couldn't do it without you guys and without your help and support. Um, to everyone who likes and favorites my videos, I really appreciate you. Um, you're probably some of the best subscribers I could ask for. Um, I notice when my videos get posted, I get a tremendous amount of likes compared to dislikes. I get very good ratings, and I appreciate that so much. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys for that. So. I will be back with some more Road to Commander, and hopefully you guys can suggest some stuff in the comments below to keep this active and keep it going. I will see you guys soon with another.